What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we're drawing Sonic the Werehog. Let's begin today's lesson in the center of our page with the nose. We're gonna start right in the middle, draw an oval coming down and then back up. Let's add a small circle along the top for a highlight and we'll fill the bottom of the nose in black. Now I wanna bend the top of the muzzle in behind the nose. So we're gonna start on the left side, go out and then down. Line this up on the right and do the same thing. Let's add a fold along the side of the muzzle. We're going to step up, curve this out, and then up towards the side. And I'll move down and draw the top edge of the mouth. On the left side of the muzzle, let's step down, curve this down in the middle, and we'll bend that back up. Let's add two large fangs on either side. We're going to start on the left. Bend this down and in. And we'll taper that out and back up. Now I want to curl it around the side of the mouth. We're going to come down, just tuck that in towards the side of the fang, continue that curve up in the middle. I'm going to add some smaller fangs along the side. Start from the top of this fang, bend this out and down, go out and up towards the side. Now let's curve the cheeks. Start from the left side, bend this around the corner of the mouth, come down and in. And I'll just curve the bottom of the muzzle. Come down the middle, and then back up on the right. Let's go to the top of the nose in the center. We're gonna split the brow with a straight line going up. Now let's go over toward the left side, bend the brow going out and then up. Go over towards the right and do the same thing. Let's curve the end of the brow going out toward the side. And we'll tuck the eyes in underneath the brow. On the left, we're gonna step in, curve this around, and then in on top of the cheeks. Let's pull the iris and pupil towards the inside. Starting on the top left, draw a half oval, coming down and then back up. Let's trace that half oval along the inside. And then along the top, draw a curve for a highlight. And it will fill the bottom of the pupils in black. Now I'm going to add a little bit of fur along the outside. Starting from the left side of the cheek, then it's out and then up. Let's add a point. Coming down with a short line, then it's out and back up. Let's enhance the brow with a fold. From the top left, step up, curve up around, and then bend that down. Now I want to continue working up towards the ears. On the outside of the brow, let's step up, curve the ear, going out, go up, and then hook that in. Let's line this up on the right, going all the way around, up, and then in. Let's bend the inside of the ear, coming down, and then in towards the top of the head. Let's add that bump in between the ears. We're gonna step out toward the left and go up in the middle, round this out, and then bring that back down. Now I wanna add those folds inside the ear. From the top, we're gonna to step down, come down, and then bend that in. Let's go back up to the top, step down. We're gonna follow the curve of the ear, going all the way around towards the bottom. And I'm just going to bend that back in towards the inside. Now before we finish off the head, let's move down and draw on the side of the body. We start over on the left side, just underneath the head. Curve this down and then in towards the hip. Go over towards the right, come down and then in towards the same height. 
Let's add that patch in the center of the body. Start back over on the left, come around. I'm just gonna pull that in towards the center point. Go up and out towards the right, and back in underneath the head. Now with the body in place, let's move back up and draw the outside of the arms. We're gonna start from the left side of the head, bend the arm going out, and then down towards the cuff. Let's line this up on the right. Going out, and we'll bend that down. Now I add some fur across the cuff, working our way in. So let's start back on the left, bend this up and in. Taper that back down. Let's add another point, going up and in, and then back down. Let's do the same thing on the right. Let's add another point, coming all the way around and out back down towards the inside of the wrist. Now from here, we're just gonna bend the arm coming back up and in towards the side of the body. Now you wanna wrap the cuff around the arms. On the left side, let's step up, curve around, and then in. Do the same thing on the inside of the arm. Let's add another point, we step up, bend this out and up on either side, come down and then in. Now let's close off the bottom of the cuff with a curve. Start from the outside, we're gonna bend this in and then back down. Now with the arms in place, let's go back up and finish off those spikes. From the top of the brow, let's step out, then the bottom spike coming all the way around and just tucking that in towards the top of the arm. Let's go over towards the right and do the same thing. Let's go up towards the base of the ears, draw the top edge of the top spikes coming all the way around and then bring that down. and we'll tuck that up and in behind. Now we're gonna separate the tip of the outside spike. Start from the top, come down and in, bend that up and in, come back down and in, and just tuck that up along the side. Let's line this up on the right and do the same thing. Let's also separate the bottom of the front spikes. Starting down here, going up, bend this down, and just tuck that in towards the side of the arm. Now let's go in and draw in the thumb and the claws. We're gonna start from the inside of the cuff, bend this in, and then down. Let's round up the thumb, and then pull that back up. Let's draw on the first finger, starting from the inside of the thumb, bend this out and then down. Round up the finger, pull this up and bend that back in. Let's layer two more fingers in behind. We're gonna start from the outside, bend this down, up and in. Now the third finger, I'm just gonna bend this around, go up and in towards the outside of the wrist. Let's add a claw along the tip of the thumb, bend this down and out, and go back in towards the thumb. Let's add a claw on the index finger, coming in and back out. Let's add one more claw on that second finger, coming in, and I'll just tuck that in behind. And now we're gonna go back and draw the outside of the legs. Let's start from the hips. We're gonna bend the legs going out, and then down towards the cuff.
from the hips, let's move to the center, step down at a curve, going up and then down. Let's leave a gap in the center, go to the left side, we're going to follow that same curve, coming down towards the same height. And we'll do the same thing on the right. Let's wrap that cuff around the ankles. We're going to step out, bend this down in the middle, and back up on the inside. Now on the outside, let's step up, bend this around, and then in. Let's line this up on the inside, bend this in and up to add a point. Come down, and then bend that back out. Now we're going to tuck the bottom edge of the cuff underneath. On the outside, come around towards the bottom and just tuck that up on the inside. Now on the inside of the cuff, let's curve the heel, coming in and then down. And then we'll round out the bottom of the feet. Let's start on the left side, coming down in the middle and then bend that up on the outside. From the outside, we're going to bend the foot. We're going to go up and then in towards the outside of the cuff. Let's add a thick sole on the bottom of the feet. We want to take this curve, we step up from the toe, and then just trace that across on both sides. On the outside of the cuff, on top of the foot, let's add that strap, coming in and then down. I'm going to step out and draw that again. Draw that same curve. Let's add a spike on top of each strap. We're going to go up and back down with a straight line. And then we'll draw two circles on the inside. We we'll start along the top and then the bottom. Now I want to add a tail coming out from the left side. Let's start from the hip, then just down and out, then back in, and then we'll sign our art and add a splash of color. And that's pretty much it. That's how we draw Sonic the Werehog. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please give this video a like and share it with all your friends. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon. Hey everyone, if you really want to discover your artistic potential, then join our Club Masterclass membership. For just $1 a month, you'll gain instant access to exclusive members-only drawing tutorials, virtual art camps, and much, much more. Join our thriving community of passionate artists just like you and let your creativity soar. So just click that link in the description and I'll see you in the club.